My wife now has a bad temper after pregnancy. She has slapped me numerous times. You, you, this is one of the stories we talk about every day. These are real life issues that happens to people. And in this video, we'll be shedding light into situations like this, what people can do in order to avoid this and in order to seek help. Let's go into it. Disclaimer here, this message was written to Juru on Instagram and I talk about real life issues, gist, entertainment and lifestyle. Hello Juru, I'll try to make this short. After pregnancy, my wife developed a bad temper. It was four months after she delivered her baby, it all started. Every small thing, she would try to slap me. She would stone me with spoons or remotes. She has called me all sort of names. Sometimes I'm scared to leave her around our baby. Guys, this is post-traumatic stress. After a child is being born, PTSD, it is real. Lots of women are going through situations like this daily and people don't understand what is going on with them. Back in the days, Yorubas would call it abysmal. That is, after giving birth, they go into extreme madness or they lose their mind or they have this animosity towards their husband you realize that some people while giving birth they'll start cursing their husband instead of them praying for their husband and praying for that child that is coming out of their womb to be honest with you when i was about to put into birth even though it was cs i was praying for the child coming out of my womb that was what i spent my time doing because i've made research about the pains of um, labor and after labor so pre-labor and post-labor, that was what I was doing. I cannot say that everyone would do this. However, we need to listen to other people's stories and read in order for us to know what to do when we face situations like this. Now, it was four months after the delivery of their child that this woman started experiencing this. You can imagine how difficult this must be for the man, the husband of this woman. How difficult it must be for your wife to just slap you out of nowhere, throw your spoons, remote, and do some sort of crazy things. This is a very well-mannered man, obviously, because with the way he's speaking, he's not talking like he does not understand the situation. He is talking like he understood where they started. It was specific four months ago. So let us pay attention and see how we can help this man. He's seeking help. That is why he wrote this letter to Juru. He went as far as saying that sometimes he's scared to even leave her with the baby because come to think of it, when a woman is in this kind of mood, you cannot predict what she can do. You would just think about the memories you guys have shared together and think for yourself, if this woman who have loved me, who has professed love so many times and have done these sweet things or those sweet things can turn to this, can despise me this much, how much more a child that is just coming into the world and the child is even helpless, me that I'm not helpless, that I can defend myself if she could be doing this to me, what would she do to the child? Now let's continue. She is nice to everyone else, but she is mean to only me. So... I did some research of my own and spoke to a doctor friend. My doctor friend said she blames me for a change in her body and core. So obviously with this, she's nice to everybody else. So it means that somewhere in her mind, she understands what she's doing. But when it comes to her husband, right? She just feels that this guy is responsible for all these changes I'm going through. Oh, my tummy is now big. Oh, my, my boobs are now flabby. Or maybe I'm experiencing some things inside of me. Or certain things have changed in my body. Oh, I'm now fat. And because of this, she's actually putting the frustration on her husband. Women, seriously, if this is post-traumatic stress disorder, you need to deal with it. It is not your husband's fault that your body changed. It is not even your baby's fault that your body changed. It is a big, huge work to give birth to another human being. A whole human being grew inside of you. That is huge on its own. Mothers, you are the best. Mothers, you are powerful. Mothers, you should be appreciated. You are wonderful. Your body took in a baby, grew that baby to term, and you put to birth by God's grace. That is huge. You've been through a lot. It didn't take one month, two months for that belly to grow to that extent. I'm sure after four months, she probably have lost hope that that belly will not come to normal. And probably she looks at herself in the mirror and she says, what is this? I used to be very sexy. I used to be very hot. My hip used to be very significant. Now my waistline is already matching my hip and all those kind of changes. It is not your fault. But you can work at it. 
instead of facing your husband instead of lashing out at your husband or even physically abusing him because this is assault really it is not only women that go through domestic violence this is domestic violence on the part of the man as well if we think about it but in this case it is all happening in her subconscious somewhere in her mind she's blaming her husband and she's reacting badly we need to be aware we need to create awareness to pregnant women. Let us stop deceiving them that they meet the baby by their bedside and tell them about Hebrew women. No. If, for instance, she has heard about Hebrew women and this and that, and she has seen the perfect women on TV shows, after they've given birth to eight, they're still looking trim and they're still looking like they are glass shape and whatnot. Guys, this will be the result. Now when she has had her own baby, she saw that her body is not like that. Four months after, her body is still not like that. She has fallen into a relapse and now she's taking it basically on her husband. And thank God for an understanding husband, right? That knows that this is, this is not my wife. This wasn't how she used to be. And that is why he is understanding. Let's go on. So he spoke to his doctor friend. First, he carried out a research on his own gentleman and he spoke to his doctor friend and the doctor friend said she blames him for all that is happening to her body, right? even though it is not his fault the funny thing is i am sweet to her i give her everything she wants uncle mm -mm. there is no human being that gives another human being everything she wants you can say you give her all that she needs but you don't give her all that she wants okay nobody is capable of that because if we think about it have you bought her a plane have you bought her a house in the bahamas or anywhere else of her choice okay I know that you are trying. In fact, for you to write this, the manner in which you wrote shows that you're a gentleman, shows that you're a provider, shows that you are understanding. But please, make no mistake, you do not give a woman everything she wants. Moving on. I suggested we see a pastor. She said no. I don't understand. Last week, we were watching TV and I changed the channel by mistake. I wanted to increase the volume. She just slapped me and said I must be stupid. Come on, what is your problem, woman? Really? I mean, he made a mistake and you slapped him. Is he your toy? You can't even slap your child like that. That's why I have to use the word toy. Because I can't say, is he your child? Okay? Your child cannot just mistakenly change the TV and you just slap the child inconsequentially. You don't do that to anybody. Now, we are trying to understand that she's not in her right state of mind. However, she needs to be called to order. Because this may drive another human being nuts. That human being, I mean, is a husband. Right here, he said, he suggested the Guan Sidia pastor. In my opinion, taking spiritual goals very seriously will help your life. Going to see a pastor, I don't know anything about that, okay? Because there's no power that your pastor has that God has not given to you. So when you read your Bible and you take spiritual things very seriously, and both of you, actually are involved in spiritual life it will help your marriage marriage is not easy without god is the originator of marriage he knows the manner so when the god when the god that created marriage speaks into your marriage things will start working for the best and then you would ask yourself what have i done to deserve this goodness okay so it is not about a pastor it is about you both make god the third chord in your marriage in order for your marriage to be strong because there will always be challenges could you have imagined that this kind of challenge would come up the answer is no but with god challenges will be averted all challenges will be managed all challenges will have solutions let me continue i was like uh-uh that is after she called him after she slapped him and called him stupid very hot slap i've been praying for her she wakes up to feed her baby i will see her staring at me at night giving me bad eye it's very scary please what did i do wrong when does this slap stop when i come back from work and she's sleeping i'm always happy my heart goes out to you mr man i don't know who you are i don't know your name but there are people whom their wives will go through post-traumatic stress disorder and this will start happening in their marriage. And of course, this will only give strain on the marriage. However, you have to understand that she's not in a right frame of mind and she needs help. She needs a psychologist to talk to her and she needs spirituality. 
those two things will bring her back that is my candid opinion and advice to you and i know that with those, those two things you will gain your wife back and your marriage will be back on track the good things god cannot do does not exist so bring in spirituality and see a therapist she will understand that it is not your fault you did not do anything wrong okay when does this lab stop when she gets help the needed help that is when this lab will stop please cope with her hold her hand through i know you are trying i know this is not easy it's not it's not easy for anyone okay imagine if it was a woman that was going through this people would have risen up on her behalf and say this is domestic violence people will want to protect her okay but because he's a man it seems like he can manage it no he's human too and he's going through this and this is hard for him like i said very hot slap i mean who will be able to stand that or is it that before that process say if you've been looking for ways to deal with the guy before i do <laughs> this is not even funny at all a man going through this needs our help so we need to put a comment in the section below if you have any, any experience about this or you know someone that has had an experience about this or you just have an advice for the person please put it in the comment section below people are going through a lot this is real life issues about our lifestyle and we need to help other people it is not only in our going on social media reading interesting gists this kind of life-threatening issue, because it is life-threatening, can damage a home, can damage a person's psychology, all right? Because the man can become psychologically damaged in the end. So please, let us give any advice that we have to help this man. And I'm sure any other person that is going through this, that cannot say it out, will be able to appreciate it. In case you're able to see this video, Mr. Man, I appreciate you kudos to you in fact i really you really have my respect you seriously do have my respect for the way you have handled this matter please keep watch over her so that she will not harm the baby and please give her all the necessary help that she would need she needs you to be spiritually there for her and she needs to become spiritually strong you guys should come together and set spiritual goals for yourself spiritual goals for yourself and see a therapist in fact if while seeing a therapist alone she should also see a therapist with you okay it will help strengthen your marriage well dear funky nation this is where i'm going to draw the curtain of this real life issues do not forget to subscribe please don't forget to like if you want to continue seeing real life issues like this gist entertainment and lifestyle vlogs until i come your way again i'm funky Odwede.